Hello everybody, it's Brian from quantlabs.net. What you're looking at is an old iPad. I think it's an iPad 3. So it's a little ancient, but I thought I'd give you a little tour of software development you can get on an iPad or an iPhone or an iOS device, uh, courtesy of this cool library. So um, I know it's all about trading, but let me just show you with the kind of stuff you can get. Um, I guess that was not a good option. Um, but hey, when I do this, uh, I'll figure it all out as I go. There we go. So this is some football thing app. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it, it, it's got some cool charting, some sports stuff on teams and whatever. But uh, uh, let's pull up some info there. It's from Infra. Logistics. Okay, hopefully can you read that? Infra Logistics. Okay, now they make uh, these cool library packages. Uh, I guess it's some quarterly ranking on football, the sport that I don't really know a whole lot about. Okay, so let me just get back to where we were. Oh, and you get a little share little thing here. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyways, let's go back. Let me just turn this puppy back. <coughs> Sorry, as you can see my idio synchrony. There we go. All right, so that is Infragistics. Okay, so that's just one app that you can do on your Windows Visual Studio. But there's these other apps that they have these reports. Now these are cool reports. I'm not going to show these, but these are for like SharePoint environments. So if you have documentation sharing, um, I don't know internal asset management kind of thing. I've done these kind of platforms before using. Uh, an unmentionable piece of software that's really not worth uh, wasting time on. But uh, for trading purposes specifically, there's this um, thing called, uh, let me just uh, close this and just show you uh, what we got here. Okay, so I'm going to go home in the home app. Okay, so this is a home app called, uh, new, what's it called? New, new Nucleus or something? Again, it's from Infragistics, okay? So there are all these widgets and stuff that you can develop on an, on an iOS device. Now the one I'm really interested in is just so people uh, can watch this. This is a charting package. I've shown this from the same Infragistics um, library. I've shown this on my Instagram account, but I only have 15 seconds to play with. But if you've seen the app um, that I've been playing with, uh, It'll just show you the charting. I don't know if this can do live. Um, uh, obviously, it's just it's still frame, but you can show all all the current app, all the current stocks. What we got here: uh, uh, Apple, Microsoft, and some other ones. You can other add ones here as well. What do you do? But that's not the point. Um, the cool thing is, is that you can change your time frame and load up all these different charts. So it's, it's pretty cool out of the box, right? And uh, there's other charts here as well, but I'm not gonna bother with those because uh, I don't wanna bore you to death, but I just wanna show you the specific one for trading. That's this one right here, that one I just showed you is the one that's got me interested um, potentially. Oh, let me show you something else cool. Uh, right here, we have a source button, okay? So what does that mean? You can take your app now, I have no idea how it works, but that is pure raw objective C. So this can be uh, uploaded to uh, the App Store on, on Apple, which is awesome. So uh, maybe there's some ideas that maybe some people may want to look into. I, I'm already kind of interested in this. Uh, I know that Dev Express has got some stuff like this. But I didn't know um, that uh, Infra Logistics has a whole five. Again, that's just some general one. I just showed you that the football one. That one's the one that Nucleus I just showed you. And then these two other ones are really for uh, um, SharePoint. So some really cool stuff going on here. And I've already started looking at uh, Xamarin, some of our .NET stuff. So there's some cool stuff out there. Um, obviously, it's not a priority. But for fun, hey, why not? Um, there's some... Very, very cool stuff out there on iOS. And again, I think Xamarin's got some HTML5 stuff going on. So um, 
the, the HTML5, um, you know, you could probably package it up somehow and, and deploy it onto the Android Google Play Store. Just ideas, all right? Talk to you later.